Checking bell comms, how do you read? Loud and clear, follow me. Loud and clear, diver one. One, two, three, four, five. Loud and clear. Loud and clear, Is that the bellman's comms? In all bell diving operations, the bellman is a key member of the diving team. Loud and clear, how do you read me? In the first film in this series, we looked at the roles and duties of both the tender and the standby diver in surface-orientated diving. In bell diving, both these roles are fulfilled by the bellman. In all diving operations, the basis for safety is good training, keeping alert, and keeping strictly to the established procedures. CO2 scrubber, check you've got a fresh charge. For all stages of a diving operation, even for the pre-dive checks, communications are of prime importance. Connect helmets to bailout and report bailout pressure. Each item on the checklist must be completed every time, no matter how recently the bell was checked out. If the unexpected should happen and things go wrong, it will be much too late to start wondering if all the equipment on board is completely operational. One nine five bar. <laughs> Gas delivery to the heart is correct and the valve is closed on the bailout. Open bell supply skin valve, report bell bottle pressure. To ensure thoroughness, it is imperative that the pre-dive checks are carried out by the team who will carry out the dive. On the panel, 185. 185, roger that. Open downstream valves, check the gas to the diver one and the bibs. Opening downstream valve. <laughs> Last and bibs correct. Analyze... No one else will do this vital task as conscientiously. Certainly, not a tired crew returning to the surface after completing their own dive. Always do your own checks. Check diver's recovery winch working and in good condition. Check diver's recovery winch working. Check diver's recovery winch working. She's working, I'm correct. Diver's equipment, two harnesses. Two pairs of fins. We've got fins on boots. Check side door seal is clean and the dogs are free. Dogs are free. Seal is clean. Uh, that concludes the bell checklist. I'm ready for the diver. One great enemy of safe diving operations is complacency. The procedures having been carried out properly time after time. Dive after dive having taken place without incidents. However, few occupations are more risky than diving. Every check must be done thoroughly every time. Diving is only safe as long as you remember how dangerous it can be. Coming down on the bell. Coming down on the bell. Left surface. Left surface. On the way down, the bellman and diver should report depth. Diving is very much a team operation. The supervisor relies on everyone doing their jobs thoroughly. Two, zero. Two, zero. Everyone has a responsibility for safety. If anyone notices that anything is unusual or out of place, they must notify the supervisor. Four, zero. Five, zero. Five, zero. Any failures, defects or malfunctions must be reported. Six zero. Six zero. Once the bell is at the worksite, the bellman and diver must decide if its final position is suitable. We got the top door. Got the top door, roger that. Top door open, bottom door open. The bell is in position, secure the bell at that. 
The diver lockout checks are dealt with in the same way as the pre-dive checks. The supervisor has the checklist and makes sure that the bellman reports every item complete. Checklists vary slightly from company to company, but the responsibilities and objectives remain the same. It is the bellman's responsibility to ensure that his checks are thorough and his reports accurate. Usually, the final check before lockout is a communication check. Right, diver's dressed, fin is in his neck down, his D-ring's connected, his hot water's connected, his bail is open, open up the bowl, closed up the hat. Reading 195 bar, his hot water temperature is 42. The diver is ready for the water. Roger that, 195 on his bailout. Lock him out. Lock him out, Roger. When he is completely immersed in the trunking, the diver pauses for the bellman to check for any gas leaks from any of the valves. Roger to that. As soon as possible, the bellman prepares the emergency recovery apparatus and gets as ready as he can to leave the bell. The job of the bellman is perhaps one of the most demanding in the diving team. The tasks he has to perform, checking all the gauges and tending the umbilical of a possibly static diver, are extremely tedious. Nevertheless, it is essential that he gives them his full attention.